today I'm going to show you how to make this from this and this. And what this is, this is that voltmeter that can go on the EX30 and potentially some other wheels like the Master or T4 or some recent Bigod type wheel. Uh, it's pretty easy. All you need are these, which can be ordered from Amazon for about $9 per, or you can get these from AliExpress that are like $1.20 per. And then this kit you can get on Amazon or whatever. Basically all you need is this, a JST two pin, and a JST three pin. And of course you need these as well. So it's pretty easy. All you do is put these leads onto the ends of this wire using a crimper. And then you plug those into this and then you plug this into the wheel. Pretty easy. So there are many videos on YouTube that can teach you how to do this probably better than I can. And that is exactly what I did. Everything I've learned about unicycles and maintaining them and modding them, I've just learned from YouTube watching electricians do their job. So let me see if I can do this. in the camera so the video that I said saw said that this thing needed to be flush but it's no way gonna be flush without this little hook here getting smashed you need that hook to not be smashed or else it won't work anymore so Mine sticks out just a little bit. And then basically what you do is you get the wire and stick it in there. And you don't want to stick too far. And then once it's in the right spot, you crimp, let go, and voila. Let me see if I did this correctly. So the first crimp the one on the left is supposed to be on the black only. And then the second crimp is supposed to be on the wire. It looks like I went in a little bit too far, but that should be good enough still. So I did the black one. So just to show you how easy this is. So the black one's gonna go on the right side of the three pin. So black is going to go on the right side of the three pin. This is the three pin. It's going to go on the right side. You just stick it on in and it just clips in. All done. So now I just need to do that two more times. So once again, super zoomed in so you can see, hopefully. So I get this started. Get my wire. Sorry about the light. My phone is getting too hot. Stick it in. And then you crimp. See how this one turned out. Not too shabby. Still sticking it in a little too far. But that should be good. And then the red one just goes right in there and it's in. So we've got these two done. Now I've just got this last one. On this last one goes 
on the left side of the two pin. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple process. Next up, once you've got this, is to stick it in your wheel, and I will show that process next. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, but basically you plug one in right there, and that brownish red, and then the other one is going in the black. So this one goes in right there. The other one goes into the black, like so. There's the clip. All right, and now we turn it on. Now I haven't updated my firmware, so I've still got the jet engine, but this says 130.3 volts. I had this one plugged in and it said 130.4. When I opened up my EUC World app, it said 129.4. So this is what you need to adjust in order to calibrate your voltmeter. And it looks like a Phillips, but unfortunately all of my really small Phillips are too pointy. I don't know if you can see, but this is very shallow. So what ended up working for me was just getting a small flathead and that fits right in there. And you can twist it very easily. So on the EX30, uh, what I had to do was bend these terminals over here, kind of the opposite way, because they were pointing straight down. But this just kind of fits right in there. And this kind of holds it in place. There is a gap underneath, and I was planning on using some RTV to kind of hold it in place and waterproof it just a little bit. But essentially, that is gonna go right there. I'm gonna put this back on top and cut this away, just with some scissors. And put this back on. But essentially, you'll be able to see it right there. Okay, I've got my display board here. You just have to unplug this in order to pull this out. But if it sits like that, it will sit pretty high up. But I could just fill all this with RTV and see how that works. Maybe even put like a drop of super glue in between the two of these, just to kind of keep it in place. All right, here it goes. Put a little bit of this down here. The super glue is getting very old, so it's very thick and kind of sticky, which is good because it'll act as kind of a spacer in between these. All right, just gonna hold that there for a minute. All right, so that's on there now. I'm just going to kind of put some RTV or some silicone just right there, maybe a little bit right there, just to give it a little bit of support. Okay. Okay, there's one. And then over here.
Yeah, no mind. You know, just remember that's at work. It's not just all floating out there. And you won't see how it ends. All right, so this should fully cure within 24 hours. Okay, while I wait for this stuff to cure, I figured I might as well plug it in. So remember, we're plugging it into the black, and then this guy over here. This might be a little tricky, but there should be enough room. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. All right, that one is plugged in. This one. Is plugged in. I might just loop that around. I need to plug the display board in. There we go. All right, we're all good there. Now I just need to put the four screws in. All right, gonna see if I can do this before my phone overheats, but I'm just putting this down in, putting the screw down. I'm just gonna tighten that up. I've got the other two in already. All right, I've got everything screwed down. Now time to turn it on. And we've got our voltage. So that is what it's gonna look like. You can see that one over here though. But I am uh, pretty satisfied. Looks great. And uh, it's gonna be super helpful. Hopefully uh, this was interesting and easy for you to follow. It was very easy to do. And uh, it did not take a lot of time. Probably took about 10 minutes doing the actual install. It took a lot of time just to remove my Clark system, that took a while. But actually plugging and playing this thing did not take very long at all. And it is a very nice upgrade. All right, I put everything back on. I haven't screwed it all down, but just wanted to show you all what it's gonna look like. At least on the EX30, there's plenty of room right here. And I'm sure it can work on a bunch of other newer be good wheels as long as it's got some JST ports there should be a way to hook it all up